Hey everybody, it's Eric at epautos.com, your libertarian car guy. I was hoping to show you something, disparity between a new half-ton truck and a circa 90s, maybe early 2000s half-ton half -ton truck. If you can see, the red one is a relatively new truck. Look how huge it is compared to that 90s era Chevy right there. Look at the difference in terms of ride height, uh, in terms of general proportions. These new trucks make even a big man feel like a little boy. And I don't quite understand the appeal of it. And I say that as a pretty big guy myself. Uh, I'm 6'3", I'm 2'10", I'm bigger than most guys. I think most modern trucks are too big. It's difficult for a guy my size to get into the bed without a stepladder. And I'm not a gimp, I'm not an old feeb. I'm just not an NBA forward. I'm 6'3", I'm not 7'3". I think you have to be about seven feet tall to be able to step into the bed of a modern truck. Uh, and it makes loading things and unloading things much more difficult. Now granted, that jacked up posture of the modern truck is an advantage in deep snow and off-road. But how many of us really have to worry about that kind of stuff 365 days a year? It might be uh, a once in a couple of blue moons situation that we have to deal with snow that's more than say eight or nine inches deep and a truck from the 90s or the 80s with four-wheel drive could absolutely handle that without any problems just as well as a modern truck and be more practical um, in terms of everyday use as far as off-roading okay let's be real about that again too we're talking about real off-roading versus driving the truck out to the field to pick something up in the grass. Big, big difference there. If you're gonna do rock crawling, sure, a lift kit, jacked up, uh, all of that stuff, yeah, you need it if you're actually gonna do that kind of stuff. But most people don't do that kind of stuff, so it's just kind of weird that these mass market new trucks all seem to be designed and built by people who think everybody's gonna go rock crawling. I don't think it's that at all. I think it's essentially a, uh, a real life um, explication, demonstration of that old shyster, actually he wasn't a shyster, Edward Barnays, the nephew of Sigmund Freud, who was the father of modern marketing and advertising, and who understood that you don't sell people on practicality, functionality, and utility. You sell them what their underlying psychology craves. So I don't think it's accidental that we live in an era of jacked up trucks and angry kabuki samurai faced Camrys and all of that at a time when the typical American probably feels more impotent and powerless in the face of forces beyond his ken and control than at any time in the history of this country. Uh, we have got just arbitrary over-the-top government berating us and badgering us, mulcting us, uh, even killing us at almost every turn. We've got these random crises du jour that are manufactured and then uh, and then pervade by the media to everybody so that everybody is PTSD'd about whatever the latest crisis is, it tends to make everybody feel fairly helpless. So maybe they feel safer, stronger, mightier in their jacked up 4x4s and in their kabuki cat-faced Camrys. I don't know, but I think I might be on to something. You tell me. Uh, moreover at epautos.com, the web's best libertarian gearhead site, the place for freedom-minded kooks generally to show up and know they're not alone. Thanks for listening. We'll catch up with you again soon.